Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. Michelle Hill is like most people seeking public assistance. I don't do no kind of drugs. I'm drug free. After three months and more than 7,000 drug tests, just 32 welfare applicants tested positive. An Orlando single father of a four-year-old refused the test and sued. The federal court told the state to stop testing immediately. It has. Uh, I think it's important for people to know that their, their constitutionally protected rights under the Fourth, Fourth Amendment to be free from unreasonable searches, they don't give those up just because they avail themselves of a government benefit. In addition to those who took the test, about 1,600 others have completed everything but the drug test. They are now eligible to reapply. Behind nondescript doors in Tallahassee is the state's child abuse hotline. The law allowed cases to be reported here and for police to access the files. The department says no cases were referred to police. If someone did test positive, uh, we would have someone from the department or one of our community partners visit that family, not, not with law enforcement, not in an investigatory way, but just say, hey, if you need some help, here are some things you can do here, because we want families to succeed. Even the legislature's own staff predicted the court outcome in its analysis before the legislation passed and took effect in July. So far, the state has spent about $200,000 reimbursing applicants who tested negative. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vassalinda reporting.